Just like the Sun, and Venus, the ocean floor remains one of the most unexplored places in our solar system, with over 95% remaining a mystery. To conclude, we know more about, Mars, other planets in our solar system, and even more about distant galaxies, than what we know about our ocean's floor. There are several conspiracies on why the underdog is unexplored, ranging from the vast nature of dark clouds below 5,000 meters, accompanied with high pressure as a result of the weight of all the water bodies above it. However, scientific exploration is still carried out in our deep oceans, and one of the most scientific concerned places, is the Mariana Trench. The Marianas Trench is located at the subduction zone, 200 miles or 320 kilometers east of the Marianas Islands. It is located at the eastern part of the Philippines and remains one of the most unexplored places in our ocean's floor and the world at large. This is mainly due to its dark clouds horizon 6000 meters Oregon 19868 feet below sea level, preventing sunlight penetration and causing a drastic fall in temperatures, accompanied with high pressure of water molecules. The depth of this zone lies at 11,034 meter Oregon 36070 feet below sea level at the Challenger Deep, being the deepest point of the Earth's ocean. Despite all these characteristics, there's still life in the Marianas Trench, and however, the trench has been visited two times by different explorers. In 1960, two members of the US Navy team, Jack Picard, a Swiss oceanographer, and Don Walsh, a US Navy lieutenant, who descended down the bottom of the trench in a submersible called a Triessa. This was the first time humans ever reached the bottom of the ocean at 36,000 feet Oregon 10972 meters. However since then, everyone was scared visiting this zone, until James Cameron decided to embark on this risky journey in 2012 in the zone called, the Challenger Deep. He was the first person to film the Mariana Trench, where he discovered species that had never existed in the surface water. The shocking part was. How could any species survive at such depths, despite the high pressure in this zone? Some of the species that inhabit these zones are, amphipodes, a species of jellyfish called, tenophore, and a type of flatworm called, plana. These species are adapted to overcome the high pressure and extremely low temperatures in this zone. However, only a little exploration of this zone has been carried out so far. For this reason, Scientists still carry out deep-sea explorations in order to actually know what is hidden at the depth of this holes. However, recently, these new discoveries were made in the Marianas Trench that astonishes scientists. What could it be? Well, we're future destiny, join us as we uncover the mysteries of the cosmos. The Marianas Trench is about 1,550 miles or 2,490 kilometers long, and about 43 miles or 69 kilometers wide. The deepest point of the trench is called, the Challenger Deep, with a depth of about 36,070 feet Oregon 11034 meters below sea level. The trench was formed as a result of the collision of two plates movements at the edge of the plate margins of Pacific and the Marianas plates. The older and highly dense plate of Pacific was forced to sink deep beneath the less dense and younger Mariana plate. Since the Mariana plate is light enough, and had only existed for 150 million years, the Pacific subdued deep down, forcing the Mariana plate to float at their edges, forming the deepest trench. The collision of these two plates had caused series of different geological features in this zone, like series of underwater volcanoes which causes underwater volcanic eruptions, underwater earthquakes which triggers massive tsunamis in the Marianas Islands. For instance, in 1990, a tsunami, triggered by an underwater earthquake caused series of damages in the Marianas Islands. Active volcanoes activities has been triggered by these plates subduction in this region, like the Mount Pagan which erupted in 1981 and 2014, causing significant damages in the nearby terrain. The most distinct features of this subduction, is by creating additional layers of the ocean that never existed anywhere else in the world. However, the ocean floor is made up of four major layers. 
The layers include, the surface layer which is measured from the surface to 200 meters below sea level. This area is characterized by a high degree of sunlight, and is home to variety of marine life including phytoplankton, zooplankton and fish. The pycnocline is the layer of the ocean that separates the surface layer from the mesopelagic zone. It is characterized by a rapid change in the water density, and it is home to a variety of marine life, including jellyfish, sea turtles and sharks. The second layer is the mesopelagic zone. It extends from 200 meters or 656 feet to about 1000 meters or 3281 feet below sea level. This layer is characterized by low levels of sunlight penetration and is home to a variety of marine life, such as squid, octopus and electric marine fish. In this case, if any species has to survive this zone, they'll have to produce their own light, and with unique characteristics. The third layer is the bathal zone which extends from 1000 meters or 3251 feet to about 4000 meters Oregon 13123 feet. It is characterized by very low level of sunlight penetration and is home to a variety of marine species, such as, deep sea fish, sea cucumbers and jellyfish. In this layer, the water pressure increases up to 5,850 pounds per inch too, and it is the highest possible zone for submarines to reach. The fouth layer is the abyssal pelagic zone, also known as the abyssal zone, or simply, the abbeys. From its name, it signifies bottomless, endless, deep. It goes from a distance of 4,000 meters Oregon 13123 feet to 6,000 meters Oregon 19686 feet. The name, Abbeys comes from a Greek word which means underdog, bottomless, endless or simply, the deep. At this layer, there's little, to no sunlight penetration. Basically below 5,000 meters, there exists a horizon of dark clouds, trapping any solar penetration, causing the layers below to witness extremely low temperatures, accompanied with high rates of marine species adaptations. In this case, species which can survive such conditions below this level, develop additional features separate from species above 5000 meters. However, only few species can survive such harsh conditions. The water pressure at this point, doubles that of the bathal zone, hence only few species and purposely designed submersible can survive such zone. Most of the surviving creatures in this zone are, invertebrates creatures such as tiny squids and basket starfish, sea picts and sea spiders, most of which have their luminous characteristics in case of transport and movement. Below the abyssal pelagic zone is the heddle pelagic zone. This zone is a rare region in the ocean floor, and majority of areas where the heddle pelagic zone exists, are mostly caused by plate movements. Typically, subduction zones. The Marianas Trench being the deepest point of this zone at 11,034 feet, is responsible for creating extra layers of the ocean floor, with its unique species, and characteristics. For this reason, it is a major scientific concerned place in ocean exploration. However, the Hedelpelagic Zone goes from 6,000 meters or 19686 feet, to 11,034 Oregon 36027 feet. Here, temperatures drop dramatically to about 35 degrees Fahrenheit or 2 degrees Celsius, with water pressure of about 8 tons per inch too measurable to the weight of 55 jumbo jets put on the surface of any object. For this reason, we couldn't expect any surviving creature in this region. However, there still exists survivors in this zone. Some of the surviving creatures here include, snailfish, starfish and jellyfish, which are adapted to survive harsh climatic conditions and high water pressure. However, these species of starfish, snailfish and jellyfish, had only been discovered in the Marianas Trench so far. For this reason, the Mariana Trench is a fascinating place for scientific discoveries. However, NASA, the official space agency of the United States, started exploring the deep ocean in 1958, and decided to stop in 1978, 20 years later, 
due to the vast complexity of the ocean floor. In fact, according to them, it is safe to explore the Moon, Mars, and other planets in our solar system, than to explore the deep ocean. There are several natural disasters impacts which a submarine can encounter without a notification or alert to the surface, due to lack of navigation signals beneath the ocean floor. There are several conspiracy theories and mysterious places in our ocean floor that needs urgent solution before any further details in the regions. The oceans of the Earth witnesses disasters. Such as, typhoons and tornadoes, underwater volcanoes and earthquakes, and see black holes like the Bermuda Triangle. In 1987, an underwater volcano recorded at 2,500 meters or 8,200 feet below sea level occurred in Kovachi Volcano in the Solomons Island. The eruption was so powerful such that, it sends out ashes and debris into the atmosphere where it was visible to the nearby islands. The eruption killed a majority of marine species which was carried by a massive tsunami triggered by the volcano. The tsunami reached the shores of Solomon's Island with many dead fish. Unlike underwater volcanoes and earthquakes which causes water dispersions and tsunamis, sea black holes on their part attracts water to themselves and prevent anything from escaping, including ships and submarines. This is exactly what is witnessed in the Bermuda Triangle, a phenomenon where, even aircraft were attracted and swallowed by a mysterious sea black hole near the islands of Bermuda. These black holes are dangerous such that, it is even difficult to see their activities until you're being caught up in it. With tsunamis and tornadoes, scientists got a clear understanding and explanation for. But for sea black holes, it remains a mystery. For this reasons, scientists do not directly explore the ocean floor. In fact, one can say, we know more about Proxima Centauri b, than what we know of our ocean's floor. But however, despite all these, NASA scientists still explore the deep oceans, in order to understand their ecosystem and adaptations, for purposes of studying and finding out extraterrestrial life in Earth-like planets in our solar system, and with similar characteristics. But however, the explorations are carried out indirectly, hence remote operating vehicle are launched for this purpose. For this reason, more focus is put in exploring the last layer, the Hedelpelagic Zone, since little to no exploration has been carried out there. So NASA scientists decided to create a row, similar to Mars rover. However, many of these machines had been launched before, but later got crushed by high pressure before even reaching the Hedelpelagic Zone. For this reason, they spent enough resources to a new powerful ocean rover, known as NASA's Orpheus, a new game-changer which possesses familiar characteristics like Mars rover, but however distinct, due to its mission. The machine is so much sensitive such that, it scans the seabed, collecting rocks, samples that enables to know its location. This device also helps it to map the Earth's ocean floor using rocks, samples. The row is equipped with varieties of sensors and tools including, camera, sonar, and manipulator arms. Orpheus is designed to operate in depth of up to 10,000 meters Oregon 32808 feet. It is also designed with a variety of sampling tools including, a corning device, and sediment sampler. By studying the ecosystems and species, scientists would be able to identify extraterrestrial life in planets with water in our solar system. Like, identifying the existence of life species in the waters of Saturn's moon, Titan, and Jupiter's moon, Europa, which has an ocean beneath its ice about 100 miles or 150 kilometers deep. We however do not expect to discover any extraterrestrial life in some of these planets if we don't know how oceans ecosystems are functioning. Using the biodiversity of oceans, we might be sure to find any existence of extraterrestrial life in these Earth-like planets, if any. More to that, Jupiter's moon, Europa, has about two times the total water contents of the Earth's ocean. This means, if we can't explore our oceans, it would be impossible to dare Europa. For this reasons, it's important studying our oceans ecosystems, for we might surprise finding more species there, than in our oceans. However, 
Since Orpheus was launched, it has made significant discoveries, and added more to our knowledge about our ocean's floor. Some of which are, the giant Antarctic sea spider, also known as Parapaline longipes, a species of spider found in the southern ocean, and it's the largest known sea spider, with a leg span of up to 30 centimeters or 12 inches. The giant Antarctic spider is a detritive ore, feeding on organic matter in the seabed. It is a slow animal and spends most of its time buried in sediments. The giant is not a threat to humans, but it can be nuisance if it enters a fishing net. One of the major discoveries ever made by this row, is a new type of hydrothermal vent, located in the Indian Ocean and it is the first of its type to be discovered in the region. The vent was discovered at the, the depth of about 2,000 meters or 6,560 feet and it is surrounded by a dense field of thermal chimneys. The chimneys are made up of minerals that have been deposited by the hydrothermal fluids. Hydrothermal vents are places in the ocean floor where, hot minerals rich water from the Earth's crust, rises to the surface. Hydrothermal vents are common in places where tectonic plates are moving apart, associated with volcanic activities, causing the water that comes from the vents to be hotter than the surrounding water bodies. The discovery of this new type of hydrothermal vent is significant, since it provides new insight into the diversity of marine environment. One of the most important discoveries that kept scientists astonished is the discovery brinicles or supposeth icicles of death. These discoveries were made recently in separate areas, such as, the Arctic and Antarctic Ocean. Brinicles are formed when the brine layer at the bottom of the ocean freezes, forming a long chain of ice down to the bottom of the ocean. Brinicles can grow to be very long and terrifying, since they can go up to or more than the depth of 1000 meters or 3280 feet below sea level. Brinicles can be dangerous to marine life because, they can trap and kill animals. Varieties of animal species lost their lives in the formation of brinicles, thus coming up with the name, Icicle of Death. Most brinicles form layers of ice under the surface of the ocean, preventing sunlight penetration and causing a drastic fall in temperatures. With this discovery, scientists can easily explore, the existence of extraterrestrial life in Jupiter's moon, Europa, whose liquid water lies deep beneath its ice. For this reason, many scientists predict a heavy formation of brinicles in Europa's ocean. But what terrifying things did scientists discover under the Marianas Trench that astonished them? Well, over millions pieces of plastics, fibers and garbage were found in the Marianas Trench. The question a lot of scientists ask is, how? From this investigation, it shows that most of the garbage and sewage we release are seen by creatures so far from humanity. It is clear, so many creatures that exist in the Marianas Trench would never experience the presence of humans, but they all see our activities. Who knows if a creature might be watching our activities down there while planning against us. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, feel free to click the video on your screen.